Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree to build a tray. I started by gluing together some of the tumbling blocks in sets of three. Used wood glue and glued three side by side. And I needed to make 24 of these sets. And then I needed to glue together six sets of two. I used wood glue and again put them side by side. And then I take all of those pieces and glue those together. So it makes one set of 12 and I made two of those. And then I take another three tumbling blocks. I glue two of them together side by side. And then on the ends of those, I glue one more tumbling block. And I make four of those sets. And then I take four more tumbling blocks and glue. I let all the pieces dry for about half an hour before I worked with them again. I took the sets of three and glued them going in the opposite direction each one. So I glued the first row of six together. Again, alternating the patterns of the, how I glued the blocks together. And then I glued together three more rows of the six and they're all gonna be glued together as one piece. So it'll be four blocks by six blocks. And then I take the sets of 12 that I made and wood glue those to each of the longer ends of the base. And then I take these sets that I made and two will be glued on each side. So I take it and put wood glue on the bottom and then the shorter end and glue it to the bottom of the base and the end of that row of 12. So these will be the sides. And I let this dry for half an hour again before I worked with it. And these pieces of two will go on the top afterwards. After the half an hour, I took some mineral chalk paint by Waverly and mixed it with some water. This will thin it out and give it more of a stained look than a painted look. I did one coat and I covered just about all of it except the top of those tumbling blocks on the end and I did only the border on the bottom. And then I took black chalk paint by Folk Art and painted those little sets of two and gave them one coat. And next I took this matte varnish by Waverly and just gave the entire painted area one coat. And then I took this self-adhesive felt piece. I believe I got it from Amazon. Another option for the bottom is the self-adhesive cork board from Dollar Tree. That would work just as well. I traced out most of the bottom, leaving just a little bit of the border exposed and then place down the felt pad. Flipped it over, added wood glue to those tumbling blocks that are sticking up on the sides, and placed down the two pieces that are painted black. Then I did let this dry overnight. It's super easy and looks really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching.